In the last video, we looked at how if the underlying for an ETF follows a different path, it can lead to outperformance or underperformance of the levered ETF versus levering up the underlying on your own. In this video, we're going to look at some other factors that influence that degree of outperformance or underperformance. And so we're going to go back to one of our original parts where we assumed that the underlying was moving up and then moving down and up and down and so on. And as you can see in the graph in front of you, holding the levered ETF under this scenario causes you to underperform levering up the underlying on your own, which can be seen by the red line over here underperforming the blue line. And so we're going to look at how this degree of underperformance changes as we go from a 2 to 1 levered ETF to maybe a 3 to 1 levered ETF. And right now we've set this simulation to such that the ETFs that we're looking at are 2 to 1 levered. And so you can see with a 2 to 1 levered ETF, the underperformance after 100 days is about that much. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this number such that we see the effect of this discrepancy over here by changing the amount of leverage in the ETF. And so you'll notice as I increase the amount of leverage in the ETF from 2 to 2.1, that discrepancy over here just increased. And I'm going to continue to increase the amount of leverage in the ETF. And as you can see, as I'm doing that, the amount of discrepancy is increasing and increasing. And until when I get to a theoretical four times levered ETF, I can see that the discrepancy between levering up the underlying four to one myself and buying a theoretical four to one levered ETF is enormous. And so the point is, is that the discrepancy between buying a levered ETF and buying the underlying and levering it up yourself is dependent upon how levered you are. So now we're going to try the same thing for a different path. And I'm going to change the path such that the underlying steadily goes up. And here we can see the levered ETF outperforms levering up the underlying on your own by about this much for a 2 to 1 levered ETF. And you'll notice that as I increase the degree of leverage, that distance between the red line and the blue line is increasing. And finally, when I change the path such that the underlying is steadily going down, you can see the outperformance of the ETF relative to levering up the underlying yourself change from that amount for a 2 to 1 levered ETF to something larger as I increase the degree of leverage. So the point here is that the degree of under or over performance of the levered ETF is proportional to the amount of leverage in the ETF. Now another factor that influences the over or under performance of the levered ETF is the amount of volatility in the underlying. So we're going to go back to our original path over here where we assume that the underlying very consistently mean reverts or goes up and then goes down and so on. And we're going to assume that we're only using a 2x levered ETF. But this time we're going to change the amount that the underlying goes up and down every day. So right now the underlying is moving within a range from about here to here. And as you can see, as I increase that range, such that the volatility of the underlying is going up, you can see the levered ETF underperform levering up the underlying on your own. And so as I switch to the path where we assume that the underlying moves up by a steady amount every day, you see a similar effect as I increase the volatility of the underlying. So if I assume that the underlying now is moving up by a larger number every single day, you'll notice that as that happens, the relative outperformance of the ETF increases. And so the big picture here is that the degree of over or under performance of the levered ETF will depend upon a bunch of different factors. It'll depend upon the time you hold the ETF. It'll depend upon the path that the underlying follows. It will depend upon the degree of leverage 
in the ETF and it will also depend upon the volatility of the underlying. And so the larger picture is, is that when you buy a levered ETF and you hold it past one day, there is an extremely complex relationship that determines whether or not that levered ETF will outperform or underperform if you had just levered up the underlying on your own. And so it's quite easy to find scenarios where you, the investor, might be right about the future direction of the underlying but still lose money because you held the levered ETF for more than one day and were inherently making an extremely complicated bet on the path of the underlying. And so this graph in front of you shows a scenario where the underlying goes from 100 in day one to about 150 in day 100. And if you had bought the underlying and levered it up three to one, the value of that bet would have gone from $100 to $250 over here. However, at the same time, on day one, if you had bought a 3x levered ETF that used the same underlying and held it for 100 days, you would have lost money over that period. And so given all this, it's not surprising that most of the regulators in the US strongly discourage investors from holding these levered ETFs past one day.